do about YouTube like I know how to run a YouTube channel because I really don't. I just do my best. I'm just the guy that does my best with YouTube videos. That's all I am. I'm just a guy that does his best. Let's go to the bow. I need to complete a dive on this area, one. so I'll play as the scout maybe. Gunner, engineer, driller. I'll play as the driller. Leave even though I hate me. the weapon he has. I need to clear a run on this area still, Remember, so I'm gonna try to do that. Time. There's no one to carry your body back to the drop part if you fail. <laughs> The only one person notices my YouTube thing is it's Kayvon. I'm just a guy talking to a chat about how to do streaming. How do I stream? Hey, Shiny, are you over with Bellatro? Will it stay in rotation? It'll probably stay in rotation for a little bit. I had a really good run this morning uh, where I got to anti-12. And I lost because I couldn't score 7.2 million in one run, in one hit, in my five hands. I got to like 1.3 million. My two pairs weren't good enough. You notice A1? Yeah, right. But uh, I am not over... Um, not over Balatro yet. I'm going to try to keep it in rotation for a good amount of time. I want it. Supplies blocked. Get the landing zone cleared. Ooh. I should drop this game out of the rotation sooner than later, but I actually do kind of want to get everything done in this game. For some reason, I am absolutely horrible at this game. I don't know why. Fire sludge pump. Deals acid damage. None of these work with what I have. But I'm curious of what acid damage does. Hey, Karm. I've never played regular DRG. But this seems good immediately off the rip. That seems really good. We played for a friend the other day, and we got to anti-11. It was so fun. The great thing about Balatro is that you can, like, you would think going in, it's like, oh, yeah, who the hell wants to make a deck around, you know, getting a pair or two pairs? But if you get the right... Unlocks like a two pair deck can get you so far, which is which shows that like anything can really work in that game, which is what I, I like. Anything can work if you get the right cards. Obviously, a lot of things depend on if you can get the right cards, but. Good work. My body bound. It's nice that everything can just be a viable run in the game. This works. Uh, I'll get minor speed. I really want to get guns. I need to get four more shrooms. I think there's one down here I can grab. Big bad boss is about to be here. You had a crazy run going just for straight but I was using the black deck and the minus one hand every round hurts a lot. Yeah, you'd have to get, yeah. If I see a voucher that gives me one extra hand, I try to save for that voucher. I find that to be so good. One extra hand, that's so valuable. I'm trying to, I want to try to clear with every single deck in the game before I put the game down or out of rotation, which I know might be a high ask, but I feel like trying to clear with every deck would be a lot of fun. Assassin damage doesn't seem to be a lot. I think I have the black deck unlocked, but I just haven't used it. Uh, we'll do damage. Maybe I should have gotten boost speed. 
15% damage, reload speed, clip size, we have fire rate and reload speed up. Look at all that levels. Could be my new Brotato. Honestly, could be. I think uh, Balatro is really fucking good. It is, it is just so well made. The video I made on it is doing better than I expected as well. It almost has a thousand views in a couple days. When's Okami coming back? I'll eat an ass. That game ain't coming back. Now this is a rare treat. Damn. Fucking Okami coming back. Yeah, right. I just played it for 30 hours. Go watch it on YouTube. <laughs> go watch it on YouTube. You missed the Okami. Go, go watch it on YouTube. Okami Act 5 when? No, 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 no. Okami was a great game, though. It was a very good game. I would give it four stars out of five. Close to 4.5 out of five, but I'd give it like an eight. eight. It would, it's more so close to like an eight to an 8.5 than a nine. So that's why I gave it four out of five stars on that little website where I rank the games that nobody reads. So I guy read a Steam review with a link to his YouTube review. I've done that a few times, but it's never led to more views for me. Like I did that with Curse to Golf when that game initially came out. If anyone remembers Curse to Golf. With by, which, by the way, if you guys have never played Curse to Golf, that is a great game. This one looks best. I feel not many people remember that one. But that is a legendary roguelite. Hey, Dragon Link. I'm just getting freaking. I guess I'll get. Give me the I guess I'll do a flamethrower in this. Yeah, it's like the side view golf game. I did make a video on that one. And Curse the Golf will always hold a special memory in my heart because the same day Curse the Golf came out is the day I. I got my residency in Canada, my permanent residency approved in Canada. I just remember that happening because it was a very long morning of me working out, realizing I got permanent residency, while simultaneously trying to upload a YouTube video. And I was like, oh my god, what is happening? I can't get enough of this rare stuff. A swarm is heading your way. Load up. Remember when there was a time where I wasn't a permanent resident in Canada and it was like horrible? Because it was so stressful. What a time to be alive. I hate reading a good review and it's just incomplete and they just self-promo their complete review on YouTube, but bitch, I want to keep reading. When I did it with Curse the Golf, I tried to give an actual general review of the whole game and then plug the YouTube at the end. I don't remember if I did or not, but you can go read it right now if you want. I think I still have that review up on... I think I did it for Eyes in the Dark as well. I'm, I'm getting way too risky with this. Let's show them some give, me a, give me some more pickup radius. I need to find some red sugar here. I also need to find three flowers. Hey, Bog, how's the game? This game? I think this game is really fun. Granted, I absolutely suck at it. You've achieved your objective in record time. I absolutely, I am so bad at this game, but 
Freaking yeah. this game and Balatro had to come out a freaking week from each other, which makes my life hard because I want to play them both. There's only so much time in the day to play these video games, you know? I I don't think there is any any fandom supply packs. The only way I've gotten HP back is from the uh, the red sugar. There we go. Oh jeez, we gotta go down. Oh, you gotta go down, down, down to the bottom of the sea. Ah, give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out. Has a StarCraft feeling to it? StarCraft? I'm the healthiest dwarf in town. You remember the stress rants as well before I went to the gym? Oh, yeah. This one's so me. This one Let me tell you, uh, if you hate war. stress, don't move to a new country. You have your objectives. Get it done, miner. If you hate being stressed out, don't move to a new country. I hope this mission will pay off handsomely. Because if you move to a new country, you're going to be stressed out of your mind. are done. Hello, Prod. You missed a big run in Balatro where I uh, had to score 7.2 million on Anti-12 and I didn't do it because I was only getting like 1.3 million in my hands. So I didn't win. But I did win. But I didn't win Anti-12. No, oh, I've never even seen them, I don't think. Monica, if you want to move to a new country, do it. Can't drop supplies for you yet. Prep the landing zone for impact. Listening to O Canada be sung out by the entire fan base. Think you could kill me. Well, in here was again. pretty insane. Like at the hockey game, they played obvious they obviously uh saying both national anthems because it was an American and a Canadian team playing. But when the O Canada came on, they were showing, you know, random fans randomly. Some people were crying. It's like, God damn, people love their Canada. People love Canada. How was the hockey game? It was very good because it went to overtime and it was a six to five game, but it was very sad because we lost in overtime. Overtime hockey is fucking stressful because it's goddamn three on three. And once you don't have the puck, it feels like you never get the puck back because it's three on three. But it was a good game. Yeah. Swarm detected. Get ready. We'll be with you shortly. I don't think I'm gonna win this run. This is only the third area. supposed to deal with that can't re-roll it 
Uh, you sort by suit and rank and try to play with that. I agree, yeah, that one is a very hard one to win. Oh my god. Precious minerals, it will get you killed. It's grenade or crop. Let's get a grenade. What's up? It's your boy Dylan. He's struggling right now. Also, is it all cards face down or is it just the first hand face down? Because I saw a boss that said all cards dealt to you like in a new hand after your hand get face down. But if you discard cards, they're not face down. But then you're just discarding a bunch of cards, which isn't bad. The bugs are growing stronger. Oh boy, the bugs are growing stronger. Satisfied. The drop pond is arriving. Get moving. It won't hang around. Ugh. Never felt better. I don't think I'm gonna be winning this run, man. Don't think I'm gonna win this one. 15 damage, sure. Pretty weapon, walking down the street, pretty weapon, now, this is a rare the kind treat. I'd like to meet, pretty weapon. I've noticed that discard has taken over snap at the moment, I ran into four back to back and they are annoying. Yep. I run discard decks on snap, I think they're the most fun, but they are definitely uh, taking over. Definitely a lot of them. Here we go. I want it. Pick up radius is good. I just need damage on everything. Move comp. The card comp that gets no love. Get ready, they'll be with you shortly. You're telling me this thing right here ain't Oh, I have eight health. Oh, don't worry, I got 15. I have one. That's the one! This 
None of my weapons did any damage whatsoever. Okay. None of my weapons did any damage whatsoever. Let me see what an abandoned supply pack looks like. These are the abandoned supply packs? You can mine those? Let's increase my max HP, maybe, and my decrease in damage. Magneto. Oh, God, what an annoying card. Do a hazard one. Do I want to try with the driller again? I feel like he'll be good with turrets. Find and eliminate the dreadnought. Remember, you're on your own this time. There's no one to carry your body back to the dock part if you fail. All right, let's try again with the miner. Or the driller, I think he's called technically. Uh, damage, sure. That was the only thing I did damage for me last time. I want turrets. I think turrets will benefit this guy the most. Fifty percent reload speed. Legends. I die a little inside every time I have to take out. Magneto has been the bane of my existence in Marvel Snap as of late. I also haven't been playing as much Marvel Snap. Because the games are kind of annoying when, you know, every single game that's set up you're trying to do just gets cussed by a Magneto. Oh, no, you can get the turrets as a weapon drop on level 5, 15, or 20, but it's kind of, you know, lucky for 25. Yeah, the engineer's starting weapon on one of the classes. I'm gonna do a high explosive grenade. Heading your way. Load up. Oh, I'm making choices. Uh, all kinetic damage. Sure. I needed that. Hey, what's up, Aviva? Have fun on the bus ride. Give it to me. For a gorgeous dwarf. Overclock Ooh. says it's time to kill. Is that overclock worth it? Because will the 25% damage carry over to every other weapon? Damn care package. This is it. Objective completed. Excellent job. Oh my God.
Mining speed up. Silent. Damage. I'm Mining speed. Vision. Okay, we'll just do that. Mining speed won't Get hurt. To it. I really, really want the engineer turret to pop up and be my little hero that I need. that in record time. Damage increase, sure. The swarm is heading your way, load up. lost track on the snap conversation so I don't feel I can keep up. All I saw was people joking about a Wong club. We should make Wong a one cost card with 10 power. Nicely done. Nice. And uh, nice. on reveal happens no matter what. This works. Hella's power? I mean, Hella's power is already weak. It's only like, what, six? Six cost, six power? the starting pistol oh, yeah. but it keeps giving me such high damage Let's weapons a lot prettier sure <laughs> grenade already feels pretty fucking useless Damage, reload speed. We'll get reload speed. Can I 
just shut my brain off and play this game and actually win? The answer may surprise you, because the answer is no. Over 60 in one turn is a bit wild. Don't you love it when a Hella just summons absolutely every card in the existence and you're just like, oh wow, there's nothing Don't I can do about that. Holy golly gee. More options. Dial it in. Tips. Alright, well I got critical chance up. Load up and get going, miner. We critical chance 31. Damage ain't that good, but okay. <laughs> I made the right choice. This I've gotten to rank five with the driller, so I think I'll be able to unlock a new starting weapon. I think I'll like the driller a lot more when I can get a different starting weapon with them. But maybe I'm just not doing it right. Also, yesterday, there were so many people Ooh. at the game. I pray to God I don't get sick. I pray I do not get sick. Big swoon detected. Bug up and get ready. Twelve little flowers. Or maybe they'll actually be good. The scanner just lit up like a Christmas tree. We got a swarm incoming. Oh boy. Ooh. Weapon. Flame, they, they really want me to do this goddamn acid damage and all that. You tried watching the Oilers game yesterday, but your streaming service was super laggy, so I watched a movie instead. It's okay. You only missed the, a great game. Thanks for wanting to watch the Oilers game. They lost in overtime. The just lit up like a Christmas tree. We got a swarm incoming. But losing an overtime still gets you a point in the standings, so I'll take an overtime loss. The game also ended at like 11 p.m. Mountain Time, so the game ended at like 1 a.m. Eastern. Yes, please. Find an XP when mining the rock should be good with this skin, dude. Damage, critical chance, critical chance, I guess. Ooh. 
Memories of Murder, what a good fucking movie. Don't think I've ever seen it. I had recently, wa somewhat recently watched a movie about a wife that, about a husband that tries to murder his wife, but I can't remember what it's called. I think it had uh, one of Taltro in it though, and it was made in like 1999 or something. That's the one. a lot of armor right now, but maybe I'm just leveling up kind of fast. Because there is kind of XP just everywhere. I'm going stronger. The drop pod is about to leave. Get your ass moving, miner. I'm not going to some enemies. Stage 3 done and dusted, miner. We'll have a good meal ready Streamer, for you when you return. if you still stink, go shower. I showered before the Oilers game. Hell yes! Oh yeah! More options! Oh, on acid would be so good. Damn. You heard the new Madam the Web movie ladder. is horrible? We'll I've heard that movie was Let's horrible as well. Huh. How are they ever gonna make it in this hell? Kind of a shame. I killed the loot bug, and I'm not so proud about it. I've never seen Multiverse of Madness, but I remember seeing the horrible looking CGI that it had. Very gory, what? Multiverse of madness? Power thunder. I can't get enough of this rare stuff. Big swoon detected. Bugaman, get ready. This Acid damage going up will be good. Got the explosive grenade to level 12. Prepare to fight for your life. A big swarm is approaching. Come and get me, you chase fucking swarm. This one's for car. This 
This XP, 6% critical chance, sure. I like crits going up. Percent critical chance, sure. Gotta move on, Miner. The drop pod will hit out momentarily. Sure, why not? Oh, all the XP that I'm leaving, man. Five we go. You've talked a lot. I'm gonna chill now. No, don't chill. I love it when you guys have conversations. and I love it when you guys have conversations and I don't need to be a part of it. You know what I mean? It's not that I don't want to join in on the conversation. I'm just playing the game and trying to win. You guys being able to have your own conversation without me? Oh, that's beautiful. That's what streamers like to see. Now this is a rare treat. Here we go. You found the Dreadnought. Now you just need to make it come out of hibernation by destroying the cocoons. Show them what a single dwarf can do. In fact, I've made it this far is kind of insane. I'll take it. If I can get the pistol up two more levels, I can get a uh, upgrade on it. Feels like a community. Yeah, if you guys hanging out, talking without me. Because I'm just trying to win this run. I'm kind of in the conversation here and there, but never felt better. Not super in it, which is fine. Like I said, I don't need to be in every single conversation. I'm sitting here. I just get really tired when you have conversations, even on the internet. Boom, baby. To be fair, I also get tired if I talk too much on the internet and Twitch chats. I get sometimes mad at myself if I'm talking too much in a Twitch chat when I should be working. Now, you guys probably get happy when you should be working because you're probably getting paid. You watching the TV shows that mid feelings? I like the movies a lot more than the TV shows if we're talking like Marvel. The Marvel movies never really hit for me. Or the TV shows never really hit for me. Like, people love Loki, but it's just too slow for me. I need action. But then also, I could watch the most random movie of all time. And be like, oh yeah, this is great. Oh god, what's that movie with Robin Williams and... Fuck, Robin Williams and... Uh, I'm blanking on him. I'm blanking on his name. Robert De Niro? A young Robert De Niro? And Robin Williams? And Robin Williams is trying to find a cure for uh, this disease that has uh, similar symptoms to Parkinson's. And they never really find a cure, but they find something that like wakes people up. Anyway, I watched that movie, and, you know, it would be a movie that when I first hear it, I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe I'd get into that. It's a pretty slow movie, but, like, for some reason, I watched all of it and enjoyed it heavily. heavily. I, was, I was invested. Yeah, Awakenings. Robin Williams, Robert De Niro. A bunch of patients have this disease like Parkinson's but they can't do anything in their life but they have uh they know they're there but they can't like talk they can barely move and Robin Williams plays the lead doctor who's trying to find a cure and 
they never find the permanent cure because the disease always comes back. Sorry, drop ship. Oh, I'm not dead. Stupid. I'm not dead. Holy shit, am I actually gonna get out of this room? Oh well my god, okay, I just need to get to the supply drop now. Oh, it's right in front of me. Get me the hell out of here, I finally cleared this damn dive. And I did it with the damn driller. Impressive work, miner. The dreadnought never knew what hit it. I love season one of Jessica Jones and Agent Carter, and I watched early Arrow and Agents of Shield. Didn't watch many other shows. I watched. I really like season one of Jessica Jones too, but I don't even think I ever finished it. I remember being invested in it, watching it with Cat, and then we just never finished it. New weapon unlocked. All right, new weapon unlocked. The high explosive grenade was my best weapon. Everything kind of was even besides this thing. This thing kind of sucked, but I completed the dive and that's what matters. I completed the dive and that's what matters. Chance of a critical hit? Sure, why not? Yeah, I don't have anything else to upgrade. Well, we did a YouTube Let's Play.